stop. A family shop. Think Bayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Bayer. Go out with questions. When you start with the obvious and just dealing with a team that this program's lost to five in a row, I mean, just, will you talk a little bit about the emotion in the locker room about that? Uh, it's obviously a big game. Um, Emotion-wise, we're going to be as excited as possible for this game. We're going to come in with a positive mindset, uh, with a with a winning mindset. But, um, it's going to it's a big game, and uh, we can't wait for it. Austin, is it hard to kind of get that mindset known that you've lost to those guys that many times over the years? Um, we're not worried about a streak. Um, we're worried about our team, how we're going to focus up, prepare for this game. It's all about it's all about us. We're not. The streak doesn't mean anything to us right now. Does it help or hurt you guys knowing that everything you want to accomplish, you know, winning to the East and getting the MAC championship game and all those other things, that's handled? Does that help? Um, I guess it helps, but again, we're a football team. We have to take one team at a time. We have to focus up on every game, um, prepare the same way, have the, the same mindset for every game. So. Um, I think that's what we're doing, and uh, I'm proud of the team for what we've done. Slade was ability to run the ball. What kind of challenges do they present offensively? Uh, they have a good quarterback, um, very good running back, um, but we'll definitely be prepared for them. Uh, we're going to have answers for everything they do. So. With them having uh, you know, both running backs and Swanson and Hunt, Kind of different styles, I guess, in a way. I mean, do you prepare for them in the same way, or is there a different plans for each guy? You prepare for them the same way that you prepare for any team. Um, teams have those kind of running backs. Um, it's, it's it's the same with every team, really. Um, so we're going to take it the same way. Knowing that you just played Wednesday, have you had much of a chance to look at Toledo on film? Uh, not much yet. Um, we had a day off yesterday. I got to watch some of the film from Western. But, um, today is definitely the big day for, for that. Uh, did you watch the two, knowing that they played games on opposite days from you guys, did you watch their games, Northern and Central? Um, nah, I don't, think, I, didn't, I don't think I watched it. At least I didn't. Okay. With the uh, short week this week, man, yeah, it was just one day. Is it all for? Um. We just start up earlier, you know. It's a short week, but you know, no, we can't take a day off now. It just has to. We just start up right away, so that doesn't really affect us. So it doesn't matter that it's the game against your rival that you have one less day to prepare. I mean, one less day, you know, it, it can't affect you. But I think we're a team that um, we have the right mindset for this. We we can prepare any way you know, possible for this game. I think we're going to be. Just, just as prepared that we have for any game this season. Coach has talked a couple times this year, especially late, later in the season, the progression of the defense. You guys have progressed throughout the season. Talk about your performance at Western, gave up a lot of yards. Uh, where, do you, where do you think the defense is at now uh, compared to, say, the first of the year? Uh, yeah, we had a few slip-ups during Western, um, but I think we're fine. We're, we're still progressing. I, st I think we're a good defense. Uh, we can do a lot of things good. Uh, just we got to stop the run. That's the biggest thing for us. So, After those first three series at Western Austin, it was field goal, touchdown, touchdown, and mm -hmm. they you know, they had their way with you, those drives. Yeah. Will you talk a little bit about what the emotion was after those three drives? The, uh, the emotion didn't change. That was the whole thing with our defense. We came to the sidelines, told them that we have to keep playing. We have to keep the right mindset. Um, obviously, we made adjustments, and that helped us. So. We just went through the we just went through the game plan. And will you talk a little bit? In, you know, don't X and O, but I mean, will you talk in generalities what kind of adjustments those were? Um, just focusing on stopping the run. That's a, that's what I can that's what I can put out. Do you need to X and O me a little bit to do it? I mean, what what kind of adjustments was it? More in the box? What what kind of things did you do to stop the run? Um, I mean, I don't know how to answer that without going into. Too much detail, but um, 
we focused on stopping the run is all I can say. Yeah. Being a uh, Spaniard kid, did you uh, pay close attention to Toledo growing up? Yeah, I went to I went to games. Um, I definitely went to the BG Toledo games growing up. So. What do you remember about those? I just remember it's a big rivalry, nice atmosphere, a lot of fans. So I'm definitely excited to finally play in this game. Were you ever a Toledo fan? Uh, I've gotten asked that a lot these last couple of days, but honestly, I was never a Toledo fan. I've known a lot of people that played for BG, and uh, I was I was never actually a BG fan growing up, but it just it just happens that I'm here, and uh, I love this team. I love where I'm at, and I can't wait to play in this game. So this rivalry wasn't big in your house growing up? Not much. Uh, the biggest rivalry in my house was Ohio State versus Michigan growing up, but now it's now it's the biggest rivalry in my house, um, so I can't wait. Who's the Toledo side of the rivalry in the house? Um, I'm sorry, what was the question? Who's the Toledo side of the rivalry in your house? Um, we have no Toledo fans in my house.